1952 D. Lincoln scent with repunched mint mark. Elusive penny variety in mint state 67 red. You need to closely inspect your 1952 Denver scent to determine whether your coin exhibits a repunched mint mark D over S, as this is the result of a minting error. This superb red gem fetched a sum of $737.12 with buyer's fee at auction. Number 7. 1931 D. Lincoln sent in MS-65 red condition. According to NGC, the mintage of cents at Denver plunged in 1931, an inevitable response to the nation's devastated economy. Many of these cents were not released until a few years later, and collector complaints about the unavailability of this and other current issues prompted the Treasury to disseminate instructions on how to obtain up to two examples of each coin on hand. Both the real and merely perceived rarity of these early 1930s coins is what created the roll market that was so much a part of the coin business for decades. 1931D cents were well made for the most part, but quite a few show signs of tired dyes. Fully red gems are very scarce, and circulated pieces are slightly scarce. This MS-65 gem ended up selling for $1,560. Number 6. This is 1927 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded in mint state 64 red by PCGS with FS 101 designation, grade was later endorsed by CAC. Doubling is not as dramatic as in 1955 or 1969 DDO sets, nevertheless thin cloning of all letterings can be spotted on most peripheral device elements. This MS-64 red specimen ended up selling for $2,612.50 with buyer's fee. Number 5. 1960 Proof Lincoln sent with large date. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. Vivid, virtually pristine surfaces deliver intense medium orange mint color and a boldly cameoed finish. While the large date is the more plentiful variety of the Proof 1960 Lincoln scent, examples such as this that approach numismatic perfection are remarkable condition rarities. Number 4. 1977 S. Lincoln sent struck on a dime planchet. Graded as PR66 by NGC. Weighing 2.3 grams, a brilliant and semi-proof-like high-grade proof example of the popular off-metal mint error. According to Heritage Auctions Indiana God we trust in United States of America have a stretched and distorted appearance, as the slightly undersized flan was not constrained by the collar dye in those areas. Although Memorial sent business strikes on dime planchets appear at auction from time to time, Examples struck in proof format are undeniably rare. It was sold for $2,520. Number 3. 1929 S. Lincoln sent with repunched mint mark. Graded as MS-67 read by NGC. According to NGC, the typical 1929 S. scent shows moderate to heavy dye erosion, though certainly not to the extent of S. mint scents of the early mid-1920s. Fully red coins are scarce but not rare. Those certified as gems, MS-65 RD or higher, may or may not be well struck, as the role of strike in grading is limited. Only a very badly struck coin will have points deducted, so the opportunity exists for a bit of cherry picking. Collectors should also be on the alert for a nice repunched mint mark variety known for this issue. In this case mint mark S over S. This specimen was sold for $9,118.12 with buyer's fee. A delightful gem red example of this San Francisco issue, struck from a remarkably early die state with none of the distracting metal flow typically seen on branch mint issues from this era. The O in 1 is slightly soft, but the coin is otherwise well struck, and no obtrusive spots are evident. Housed in a green label holder it ended up selling for $18,600. And here is 1969S Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded in mint state 63 plus red by PCGS. A true 1969 S double die obverse scent will have strong and prominent doubling on the date. The doubling appears on a southeast direction and is more prominent on the date, the word liberty, and the words in God we trust exciting as a newly discovered example of this rare variety. This is an important choice full red scent. It is attractive, with bright, even, pinkish rose mint color on both sides. There are few blemishes of any kind and most are so small as to be easily overlooked by the unaided eye. According to Stax Bowers, the 1969S double die obverse is an extremely desirable variety having an estimated population of just 40 to 50 pieces based on combined certification service statistics. It was sold for $72,000. Thanks for watching this video.
We hope you found this information helpful. If you did, then please consider hitting like and subscribe buttons below. Stay well and see you in the next episode.